Hey guys, welcome to this radio video and uh, I just wanted to uh, talk about um, a new antenna that I've been trying out. It's not fully installed yet so that's why I haven't made a video to show you guys but it's going to be available in the next uh, day or two. I've uh, installed a 100 feet wire north-south uh, orientation. I am actually crossing over the neighbor's yard completely to a telephone pole that's in the second neighbor uh, yard and uh, because it's kinda complicated here I've done this in a very very uh, <laughs> secretive way so I've actually hooked up the wire at night when it was dark so nobody can see me and uh, nobody can notice also it's a very thin wire that I've put up and uh, I did have a little glitch because when I wanted to actually make it a little higher because there's a tree in the way uh, DX the cat decided that it was fun to play with moving wires so it actually uh, got worse instead of better but I uh, will go tomorrow uh, probably get a new 100 feet wire length and reinstall it from scratch go over the tree and really make it well on observations of reception, um, it's nice because I noticed that on some frequency ranges like 5 MHz, on 5 MHz I had S9 and even sometimes over noise and now it's down, which I really like and actually it shows the uh, 60 meter band uh, tropical signals are stronger. Uh, general usability of uh, 6, 7 MHz, slightly better mostly because uh, the noise hasn't changed much but the signals are much stronger because of the long length of wire so I get a better signal to noise ratio it's easier for me to listen to stations even though the noise has stayed pretty much steady so I'm really really having a lot of uh, good results with this wire and that's because like I said all the the length makes the signal stronger than they were before uh, even signals from the BBC that I could barely get on 15400 are much better than they were uh, signals across the bands are everywhere pretty good so um, I'm enjoying that a lot and some regions have actually even good, uh, you know, low noise, depending on where I want to listen to. So, uh, very interesting to uh, use this wire. Uh, I think it's going to help a lot. The only range where it's really worse is uh, in 3 megahertz sometimes, a lot of buzzing. Yet, look how strong the uh, CHU signal here. I haven't had CHU on 3330 as strong as this in ages. So, you know what? I'm very, very happy with that wire. I'm going to put it permanent so it stays my permanent wire for the winter. And uh, so, like I said, I'll be putting it a little better. I'll be showing you guys how I installed it. Uh, maybe giving you guys a few ideas of how you can actually hook up a wire without nobody knowing about it just have to be careful you know make sure that doesn't uh, do anything bad to anyone but this is nice and I'm really really enjoying it so uh, this is my first observations and it's really really cool um, basically it pretty much doubles the length of the wire I had on this radio and uh, I think it's gonna be very interesting to see the results of uh, the different reception of stations and utility signals but I'm very satisfied right now as to how it works. So uh, I'll be posting, like I say, the the videos, showing you guys how it uh, actually is installed, how I did it, and uh, explaining how I managed to get a wire across. Uh, and the case where I am here, it's what's easy is that it's uh, easy access to the neighbors uh, yards because they don't have any fences so I don't have to climb fences or do anything I just go into the yard uh, very easily so at least that's nice for that 
And, uh, you know, it's part of the radio experimentation. Having fun with uh, antennas is part of having fun with your radios. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know. And thank you for following me on the channel.